This is Lorena and we're gonna make zipper leaders. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, we're gonna make zipper leaders. <laughs> I got my zipper leaders from Gamel. So if you just wanna buy some leaders, go ahead and ga go to Gamel and buy some leaders from them. I ended up having one of them break for me. So I need to make res replacements. I tore my leader. Yesterday, I was working and I tore the leader. But you know what? I have this to say about Gamel. Like, I had these leaders for since 2009 and I've beat them. I could still probably still use it and cut it and make it real short, but I guess I feel like I should retire it. <laughs> Since it tore. That's what this video is gonna be. Making zipper leaders. Alright, let's do these. Alright, uh, okay. Alright, materials that you're gonna need to make these zipper leaders. I ended up purchasing canvas because my original leaders from Gamel are made out of a canvas material. You're gonna have to buy like a lot of fabric based on the fact on how long your long arm is. My long arm goes up to 120 inches long that means that's how far the the long arm can travel throughout the table so i ended up purchasing probably four yards of canvas you don't want to have to piece these that's why you need a lot more fabric because you don't want the 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 piece area to create a ripple on your back fabric you're also going to need to buy zippers the zippers that you're going to buy i bought them at gamel i recommend gamel zippers not joanne zippers I've had my zippers for years. I've never had any of the teeth break on me. You're gonna need to have a set of two if you're only using these for your back fabric. I don't put a zipper leader on my quilt top, but Gamel does recommend it. If you're one of those that does, then you're gonna have to buy a set of three. And that means you're buying three sets. The, the zippers with the zipper pulls, you're just gonna save those. You're not gonna use them because those should go onto your machine itself. If you don't have zippers at all, you sew that zipper pull directly to the leader that's on the long arm itself. Now Gamel uses this one for their back fabric. Um, they just taped it down, so if you wanted to, you could literally untape it and sew the zipper if you wanted to. Now, I only use two of the leaders because I don't use this one. This was for my back. I decided that the one for my back fabric, I'm using what they call it, the top fabric which is this bar right here. They're probably kind of all the same. This is 41 and a half long. These are. So if you're gonna make your leaders, I would make them, depending on your machine, depending on the size of your machine, but mine is a big machine. They have it, this is 42 inches, and the length of your, the length of your table, and mine, my leaders are 114, but I know they go up to 150. This is what you would make. For yourself. And then this would be duct taped down. And I only have like five, six inches. You would need probably 45 to 30 inches depending on your table so I just I can if I wanted to go ahead and make my own leaders if I wanted to and just buy more yardage mine go all the way across to the table but the zippers are what goes on to your machine to comfortably work I recommend that you have your leaders enough to where they come out to you. So you're not leaning over, you're not leaning over, zipping it on. It kind of sits on your bar and you can just zip on. These leaders are, uh, let's see. 
same thing, 40, all their leaders are 42 to 43 inches long. Do you see how they line up? And since my machine is like so old, you could tell the color of the zipper, how these are directional. I didn't create it this way because I want to use it for this edge. So mine, when I made them, because if I had it in this way, this zipper would be on that end. You want to make sure that the zippers all are in one direction. So here's this one, and here's the spacing, and then I'm just going to zip it down. And there's that leader for this end. Like I said, I only use two, but you can make three. If you were to make the third one, you want to make both of them, the ones on the bottom, both in the same direction like this, and the one on the top in the opposite direction. And like I got, these zippers were $8, and I recommend that you get your zippers at Linda's Electric Quilting or Gamel. These zippers have lasted me for years. I've never broken one. And if you don't wanna make the leaders, you can just use the zippers and just zip them on and number the zippers. I know a lady who doesn't have leaders, she didn't make these. She just uses the zipper and they work just as good. And I do like a forward and back stitch and then I just go and stitch everything down. And I just stitch back and forth on the tail end. It looks weird having a different color leader, but it's okay. It is what it is. I made these. I should be proud. They were pretty cheap. $8 and probably like $20 worth of fabric. I didn't have enough fabric to make. Probably like 10 more. So from Linda's Electric Quilting, they're like $80. Mine need to be 113 inches long. The leaders were probably about five to six inches wide. I want to make my leaders a bit thicker, especially when I'm doing custom quilting. I feel the zipper gets in my way. And so I'm going to add, make mine about 10 inches. And you can see it's a very large, long strip. What I recommend when you're getting the length of your leaders is measure how far will your long arm go to one end and then drag your long arm to the opposite end and see how far it goes and that's your measurement. I guess mark it and then draw a line across. I think I'm going to make my leaders like 120 so you need a measuring tape because my leaders usually go up to 113 but I'm going to go to 120 so up to here. And then I'm going to serger the top, bottom, and all the edges. And then after, in a little bit, we're going to kind of fold this down and make it into a zipper leader. Zipper, 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 zipper. All right, the next part of this is ironing and ignore that mess. It doesn't exist. One inch fold here. Oh. And then this is a one inch.
and this is how um, they're nice and folded. Okay, now that I have these ironed, I surgered on one end so it isn't unseen for me. <clears throat> and I surgered on this end. What I'm gonna do is sew on the top and on the bottom to secure. This is where the fabric's gonna go. This is where the zipper's gonna go. This is what it looked like. And what I did is I just sewed here and here on the big flap and sewed small. Now, you can make these smaller or bigger depending on your leaders that you want to create. So in all that, now we have the zipper leaders. We're going to go ahead and unzip it. This one is what you put on the leader that's to your machine. That's on the bars, falls off or breaks. I have extra. This end is what we're going to sew to this. And when you're sewing it, you want to have the teeth coming out. You want your zipper leaders to face the same way. She has a gap, like. I'm gonna draw a line there to my originals. And that's where this is sits. Do you see how the teeth are popping out? And then at the end, and this is kind of like, I made like a little folded tab and just made a stopper for the leader so that my zipper doesn't fly off. That just will be bad. You don't want it to fly off that end. So when the zipper comes, this becomes its new stopper. The next thing you're gonna do is number your leaders. And I numbered my leaders right here. This end is zero, and then I number down to five. I don't use the slip. The reason I number them, and this is why this is important, if I want to start on 10 or 20 on my leader and sew my back fabric down, on the next leader, I will put the start of my fabric on 20 and sew that back fabric down. So the back fabrics are parallel and does that make sense is my one then I get a ruler and I go all the way down and now I'm going to use this as a leader I really appreciate you for watching there's leaders everywhere <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one okay bye